everybody hope you're well. This video is all about this bike from Engwe, another bike from Engwe. They have such a range that covers just about everything you could think of. And this one is called the E26. And they do one with a crossbar and one with a low bar. And they do it in different colours. But if there was ever a bike that had the wrong name, this should be called something like the Terminator or the T1000. It is a beast, it's a monster and it's such good fun. I've had a real good laugh on it today. I've got out today, it's supposed to rain it a bit, but I was keen to get out and have a play on this. And so far we're doing all right with the weather. But what a monster, I'll put all the facts and figures as normal below. It's not over heavy, you can pick it up and carry it around. I did have a slight problem though. You'll see later on in the video when I built it. I built it in the cottage and I couldn't get it out of the cottage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I managed to get out of the front door in the end, but we had to rearrange the cottage to get it out. But it is a monster, particularly with these fat tyres on. 26 inch wheels and uh, 4 inch wide flat tyres. Front suspension, hydraulic brakes, um, no rear suspension, but it's got suspension in the seat. And it's surprising how well that works. That's pretty comfortable with that big saddle as well. Comes with this massive rack on the back and it has the facility on the front put a basket on the front as well so what is it <laughs> well it's definitely a monster um it's sort of like a cargo bike a mountain bike um i reckon you could ride this on the beach as well but out up up on the moors up here it's been no problem whatsoever it's been a little bit muddy and we've had a bit of rain recently and this is coped with it no problem Love the long mud guards. If you're having a bike in the UK and you don't want to get covered in mud, you definitely long mud guards. These are aluminium mud guards. Comes with this massive light on the front. Look at that. Beast of a light on the front there. It's like a motorcycle light. <laughs> Comes with a backlight as well. And that's also a brake light that works on both brakes. It is a UK bike. It's got 250 watt motor on it and it's a UK legal bike. So you can use it on the highways, on bridleways like this in the UK. It is one that you can alter the speed restriction on. I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but there's plenty of videos out, you, out there you can do it. So in the UK, you're limited to about 15 mile an hour. You can mess with the buttons on this and up the speed if you wanted to. Uh, if you're in a different country and the rules are different or you use it on private land. Let's just leave that there, shall we? But hydraulic brakes, the brakes are absolutely amazing on this. And I don't think it's a bad price. I'll put the price at the bottom. Um, I'm not always 100% sure of the price before it goes out. So the price below is what it is on this offer. And there might be a discount code as well in the description. But for the price they're talking about, this is great value for a bike. I always relate this back to my bike. I've got a Trek and my Trek full suspension mountain bike was five and a half thousand quid, which is ridiculous. This is a great bike. Get you out, get you out on the hills. Lots of fun. And it looks the part as well, doesn't it? I like this color, but they do do it in other colors. You can put water bottles on it as well. It's a detachable battery, so you can charge it while it's in the frame, or you can take the battery out and charge it while it's in the house. The battery is locked in. You don't need the keys to run it. Some people don't like that, but there's a lock on this side. You undo that and the battery comes out. But it'd be great for camping with it having a detachable battery as well. If you had a rack, or if you had panniers on the back and you went camping, you could take a second battery or you could take a small power supply to charge it up. Or if there's power supplies at the campsite, you charge it up overnight and use it the next day. So it's a really usable bike. Comes with a stand, aluminium frame, rear hub motor, Shimano gears as usual. And you've heard me talk about these before. Every time I've built a bike and taken it out of the box, these have worked no problem. Same again with this one. switch the power on and off there's a button underneath there you press and all that and that switches it on and off and it goes through a, a cycle to reset itself and then you're ready to go shimano gears nearly every one of these e-bike comes with these brilliant up and down the buttons nice and easy to use no problem whatsoever and hydraulic brakes 
Hydraulic brakes are brilliant, really easy to use. You can literally one, two fingers to use these. I don't have a problem with cable brakes, to be fair. Maybe on this one it benefits from having the hydraulic ones. But if you do have a problem with these, they are a bit awkward to bleed. You probably need to take it to the shop if you're not mechanical in your way of thinking. But uh, the cable ones are easy to do. But these are super, super strong brakes. You'll fly down some hills and be able to stop with these. It's a coloured display, shows how much power you've got in your battery, your speed. This is currently in kilometres per hour, but you can change it to mile per hour. Five different speed settings, and you use the standard buttons to go up and down the settings. And if you want to, you can just cycle it like a normal bike. There's buttons on the side here, and they change from trip, your minute, maximum speed, average speed. And the light, when you switch the light on, it dims the screen, puts a little logo on there. And your super big bright front light comes on. And the back light comes on, which is lovely and bright. And as I say, that's also a brake light. So the brake light works without the lights on and with lights on. And that runs off the main battery. That's where you charge it in the frame. Would I say it needed rear suspension? I don't think it does. That seat works enough. There's a lot of padding in that seat. And having these big wide tires on, they give you like a form of suspension as well. So I don't really think it needs rear suspension. The front forks are more than adequate for what this bike will be done, for, will be used for. Full mud guards and the mud cars come right down the back as well. So you're not gonna get mud up your back. Lovely big comfy seat. And that seat suspension, as I say, works well. Rack, that rack's detachable if you want to take it off, but it's also got pre-drilled holes in here and you can put a bigger rack on there or you can screw panniers on it. Derailer guard, it's always good to see. Super fat tires. You can lock your suspension off if you wish and you can alter the damping on it as well. That light's massive. <laughs> and that light, as well as being seen by, is more than adequate to cycle back with on a night. It went together nice and easy and I'll put a section in the video at the end to show how I assembled it and how it was delivered. But it come with no marks, no scratches, well packaged as usual. There's the fittings on the front and if you check the Angway website there's baskets that you can fit on front of this as well so you can take it to a cargo bike or you'll have more room for your kit if you're going camping with it. But a monster, absolute monster does deserve a better name. Should be called the Terminator. Or the T800 or the T1000. If you're a Terminator fan, you'll know what I'm on about. But what do you think? Do you like the look of it? And I'm so pleased the price of these are getting more and more reasonable. Let's see how it was packed and how it goes together. A tip for you. I've obviously put lots of bikes together and e-bikes together. These always come with metal staples, like brass coloured staples in there. When you open them up, it leaves the spikes out. My recommendation is always take those out and throw them away because as you're putting your hand in and out the box, you'll rip yourself to bits. Top tip. So how's it packed? Well, I know this is a, an Engway bike and we've looked at many of these and they're always super, super packed. They must spend a lot of money on packaging, but it really pays off. And the amount of tie wraps on it, Somebody said to me, why don't you use a little screwdriver and undo all the tie wraps and you'll be able to keep them. Can you imagine how long that would take me? <laughs> Looking good. I did have another comment the other day that made me laugh. Um, they said, why don't you use a bike stand, one of these stands where you can put the bike up here to work on. I, I've got one, um, but I do this this way and don't read the instructions and only use the tools that it comes with to show it can be done in a kitchen or in somehow we do it in the garden. That's why I do it. So I suffer for your privilege. That's why I've got a bad back. <laughs> anyway, let's get the damn thing together. So in the box, there's a charger and good old Engwave sent a UK plug, which is great. Pedals, toolkit, 
and this is the most funkiest bell I've seen. <laughs> I'll have a look at that when it goes on. Some time lapse and some instructions. Right, let's cue the time lapse. for kneeling on and it stops you scratching anything on the floor. There we have it all together. A lovely simple assembly. A beast of a bag. It went together really well. Can't see any marks anywhere. Only use the tools that it come with. Piece of advice, if you fit in the rack, make sure you put the light on the rack before you put the rack on. I did it the other way around. I need to put some, there are some tie wraps in there. I need to tie wrap that to there. I think that's about it. It's a beast of a pike, isn't it? And I love the color. We've had a few in this color. I do like this green. Is it green? I think it's green. I didn't use the instruction book, but the instruction book is very good. Engwe have been building bikes for so long and they've got it sorted really. Just need to put this funky bell on. It's like a steampunk bell. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> so would I recommend this? Highly recommend it big grin factor if this is your style of bike and you want to get out in the countryside and have a laugh at a good price not spending silly amounts of money it's got a load of adjustment in the seat i'll put the specs underneath uh, about the size range um that's a, i'm really surprised how well that suspension in that seat works the um the distance on here is adjustable as well the rake on this is adjustable so you can bring these bars right up if you like but i've got quite long arms so i prefer it out in front of me which i really like that it's been well thought out you know the lights the look the big chunky rack the lovely big tires they're hilarious and they give you lots of suspension through them as well but the only thing with it the only thing with it it needs a better name come on Engui. it needs to be called terminator or something it is a beast it's a monster but lots of fun Hope you enjoyed the video, lots more videos to come. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.